Hey everyone. Today, we're diving into an incredible discovery that challenges everything we thought we knew about the origins of matter. Scientists have recreated the extreme conditions of the early universe using particle accelerators, and their findings reveal something astonishing. Up to 70% of certain particles may have formed after the initial chaos of the Big Bang. This changes how we understand the formation of matter. Ready to explore the birth of our universe? Let's get started. Welcome to Trendstorm. Chapter 1. Recreating the Early Universe Picture this. The early universe was a scorching 250,000 times hotter than the core of the sun. That's so hot, protons and neutrons couldn't even form. Scientists have recreated these mind-boggling conditions using particle accelerators, where they smash atoms together at nearly the speed of light. The resulting explosion of particles helps us understand how the universe cooled down and how matter began to form. But here's the twist. Not all the particles we observe come from the original quark gluon soup formed immediately after the Big Bang. New research shows that a huge percentage, up to 70%, of certain particles actually formed in later reactions, which happened just millionths of a second after the universe's fiery birth. This discovery is huge because it means a lot of the matter around us didn't come directly from the Big Bang, but from what happened next. Chapter 2. What does this mean for the origins of matter? So, what does this all mean? Well, scientists are rethinking how much of the matter in our universe was created in those first few moments after the Big Bang. This new data suggests that much of the matter actually formed in later reactions as the universe expanded and cooled down. This forces us to rethink the timeline of how matter formed in the universe and provides new insights into the complex processes that shaped everything we see today. Understanding these later reactions is crucial for interpreting experiments at particle colliders. To get a true picture of the early universe, scientists need to filter out particles formed in these later stages. Only then can they get a glimpse of the subatomic soup that existed right after the Big Bang. Chapter 3. The Surprising Role of Later Reactions In the 1990s, physicists discovered that certain particles, like D mesons, could interact to form a rare particle called charmonium in the aftermath of the Big Bang. However, they didn't fully grasp how significant this effect was, until now. Thanks to recent collider experiments and new calculations from scientists at Yale and Duke University, we now know that more than 70% of charmonium particles may have formed in these later reactions, not in the initial quark gluon soup as previously thought. This discovery is crucial because it means that even though these reactions happen much later, they still contribute a major portion of the particles that make up our universe. It's like finding out a large part of your favorite puzzle was actually put together after the main event. Chapter 4. Implications for the Future So, what are the bigger implications? As the hot soup of subatomic particles cools down, it rapidly expands into a fireball. This expansion happens incredibly fast, in less time than it takes light to cross an atom. Scientists are still trying to figure out exactly how this fireball expands, but this new discovery brings them closer to understanding how matter, the stuff that makes up everything around us, was born. The great news is that these findings suggest scientists don't need to know all the tiny details about the universe's rapid expansion to understand particle formation. The fact that charmonium and other particles formed in significant numbers, even in these later stages, tells us that the universe's early reactions may be more complex than we ever imagined. In summary, by recreating the extreme conditions of the early universe, Scientists have made a groundbreaking discovery, 
up to 70% of certain particles may have formed after the Big Bang, reshaping our understanding of how matter originated. This research not only challenges old theories but opens up exciting new avenues for understanding the birth of the universe. Source. U.S. Department of Energy. So what do you think about this mind-blowing discovery? Drop a comment below and share your thoughts. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to stay up to date with the latest in science and tech, right here on Trendstorm. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.